Time to talk Donegal Ultra 555 this week. The event, of course, starts very early on Friday morning. And joining me to look ahead to the event is one of the leading lady competitors, Lorraine Malarkey from County Monaghan. It's good to see you, Lorraine. Thank you. Well, Lorraine, this is some challenge ahead for you this weekend. Yes, I've seen 100%. <laughs> <laughs> what, what got you interested in taking on the 555 then, Lorraine? Tell us. Uh, probably a few years ago was the first I noticed it. And that was, uh, I remember following Ronan McLaughlin uh, when he did it. And I remember thinking to myself back then, I was like, I'm going to do something crazy like that someday. Um, but never really said about when I would do it. Um, this year, I was focusing more on getting home maybe to do the Nationals, but unfortunately the Nationals was postponed. So I had said to Sean then, because I know Sean very well, um, out in Dubai, himself and Irene and the boys, and I just took a notion and I was like, I'm just going to do it. Um, so that's kind of where, where, where we're at now. Yeah, um, you said that you were going to take on this crazy challenge. You have to be a bit mad to be at this sort of endurance cycling racing, don't you, Lorraine? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but I always say what well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. Well, give us maybe a, back, uh, a wee bit of information on your background as to where you're at in endurance cycling because out in Dubai, as, as you mentioned, and, and you know, Sean, you are the record holder for the seven Emirates, which is almost 500 uh, kilometers, but you've been involved in a lot of in endurance racing to get you now to, to this point at the 555. Yeah, so the seven Emirates was what, um, it was October, it'd be two years now in October. And believe it or not, I decided to do that on the Monday and it started on the Friday night. <laughs> Before that, I yeah. had only the biggest ride I had done was 185k. Um, and like I always do, I, I don't really think about these things. I just throw myself into them. And I seen it on a Facebook post of some guys that were doing it. They were doing it to raise money. And I messaged them and I just said, can I join? And they were like, yeah, go for it. And I'll never forget going up the road to Abu Dhabi where we were starting and uh, they were talking about all the training that they'd done and the long rides that they'd done and all the prep that they'd done and I was sitting there starting to sweat going oh dear what have I let myself in for but uh, yeah so I completed it now I wasn't I wouldn't say it was it was easy um, but yeah I, I I got through it and I managed it a lot of it's mental to be honest it's all in the head as well as the legs um, and then since that, I just back in, in April, I, um, I rode 3,500 kilometers for the month. I rode every day to raise money for Crumlin Street Children's Hospital, where my nephew was last year. And um, we finished that off with a 200 kilometer ride. And then about a week or so after that, somebody that was on that ride messaged me and said, how do you fancy doing a 400 kilometer night ride? And I remember thinking, yeah, that's only double what we did. Sure, that's nothing. Uh, <laughs> and then I got there and I was like, oh dear, like this is like 400 K. Yeah. Um, and that's through the night into the morning because of the temperatures, obviously. But um, so yeah, in terms of endurance, I, I think nothing of going out and doing four or five hours on the bike on my own um, in the hills in Dubai. Uh, yeah. I just I just get on it and get on with it. Yeah, uh, you have been here to Donegal before because you've competed in the three day. You've done the initial one hundred. You know what the roads are like. How does Donegal then compare to like what you were doing and and the bike? Donegal is going to be tough. The road surface, the hills. You know, there's very few flat parts, and um, and I know from riding up there before. The roads, even when they look flat, the roads are very dead. Um, we don't have as many hills in Dubai. Now, we do have hills and we do have mountains and it takes a bit more of an effort to get there. Um, I've done a, a bit of night training um, recently to prepare me. So I think in terms of descending at night, I had a bit of practice at that a few weeks ago, uh, climbing and yeah, just... Just all round, yeah. I think I'm not sure the nice smooth surface of Dubai will uh, will stand to me, but uh, I was out there this morning, and yeah, the road surface is definitely going to be the huge one because that rougher road was always going to tire you out. 
Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to in this challenge, and and what are you not looking forward to? Because when we <laughs> roll, rolling off the tongue, we've got stuff like Memore Gap and Glen Gash and things like that to do. Yeah. The well, the thing that I'm looking forward to in comparison to the training that I've done recently is I only have to do each one of them once. Um, once I'm over each climb, then that's it done. And I think that's that's part of my mental game is just like taking each section as it comes and just getting over it. So what am I the most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to rolling up onto that ramp when I'm finished. Yeah. What sort of time are you hoping to do it in? Um, obviously, uh, my, I, I want to obviously do sub-24, but uh, I haven't really... I'm thinking definitely sub-22 sub would be would be good. Um, yeah. But... Time wise, a lot of it will come down to what we get in the day, weather wise. Yeah. Um, I was out yesterday afternoon and it was quite windy. You know, it's really nice weather, but it's quite windy. So it'll depend on what we get on the day. So right. let's let's see. The less one, the better. <laughs> well, that's an ideal world, but that never yeah. happens. That's particularly in Donegal. No, does it? I'm talking to you now, and you're home in Monaghan, and you're you're going to be making the trek up to Donegal on Thursday. So, what do you yeah. do now in these days leading up to it, Lorraine? Um, you know, today is all about preparation. I was out on the bike this morning, and that will be my sort of last longer ride. Um, I'll do a short one tomorrow, but we'll just to spin out the legs. Um, plenty of yoga, get stretched out, and. Um, and then just the prep of bikes, food, uh, fuel, all that sort of stuff. So gear, uh, I'll have every piece of gear that I own will be packed and with me because you don't know what the weather's going to throw at us and uh, being cold is not an option. Yeah. Uh, um, said to my dad this morning, is it cold out there? And he goes, no, it's lovely. It's just really warm and humid. I was blue when I got back. <laughs> it was freezing. Well, you're normally used to temperatures in the high 30s, aren't you? Yeah, that was probably one of the difficult things, Oshin, about training for this in the recent, probably the last month, was the temperatures and humidity. Like, it was really tough. You couldn't do long rides unless you were doing it at night. Um, and even at that, one of the nights, Sean had taken me out to the hills. And it was lovely. And there was a nice wind. And about three o'clock in the morning, it was like somebody just switched off the wind and the humidity went through the roof. No air. It was like somebody was smothering you. Sweat just lashed, like you were just dripping. And it's quite tough. So in terms of getting that long, long, long mileage in, it was it was probably one of the toughest things uh, was the heat. So yeah, I'm going to struggle with the cold now when I'm back here. Um, so I'm hoping for, they were talking about it's going to be 23, 30 degrees and I was like, bring it on. Yeah. Well, listen, well, finally just then when you go back to to dubai um how proud would you be to have a, a title of a 555 alongside your oh, name with all those other accolades that you have now lorraine uh extremely proud um i think it's one of those things that having a medal or something for the pain that you're going to go through the mental battles that you will have on on the road so it's not just about physical but it's about mental and the memories that you'll have from that having a, a trophy or a medal to remember that will be very very special yeah. well listen we wish you the very best of luck this coming friday on the 555 here in Donegal. and we'll come to you thank, after you. thank you very much